Hello, this is Rebecca here, and I'm back today with another um, journaling page. And basically, I've already prepped my paper with watercolor, and this is just using some pinks and greens and yellows and oranges. And um, basically, I'm kind of looking to make an, an an autumn page. What I'm what I'm working on now is I'm almost finished. I got one little page left after this in my journal, and so I'm ready to wrap this up. We're ending September and we're starting October, and so I think it's perfect timing to start a new journal at the beginning of the month. But um, I'm just going to kind of clip these pages down because they are getting quite um, turned up, which I love, but not when you're trying to create something. So last this past weekend, I did a show. Um, well, I didn't do a show. I attended a workshop by Posh Pieces. And um, this is Melissa, and she did a creative, uh, kind of a creative planning workshop, and we learned how to make stamps from foam, and then we used the jelly pad to create different colors and stamping, and basically we layered up a, a sticker. And I have back here, I'll show you real quick what page I did. I still haven't documented um, documented the event. I'm going to write about it here. But this is the page that I worked on at her workshop. So I wanted to kind of take some of her techniques that I learned and create another page here. And I was inspired today because I got out of my car and the leaves have fallen some on the ground. I mentioned earlier that we had like a little cold snap and so they really actually think, thought it was fall but they haven't all turned. And so I believe we have Spanish oaks here and this is um, the shape of the leaves and so I thought oh this would be a great um, template to use to create stamps so I took the phone and I outlined the um, stamps I mean I outlined the, the leaves and then I created these little foam stamps and I'm going to show you real quick I cut these out basically I traced them around the shape and I cut them out but before we start let me um, show you real quick some of the supplies that we got. We got this really cute little art bin that I plan on kind of creating it, maybe adding some stickers and maybe um, doing um, my name or something like that. But inside we got paint brushes, we got this jelly pad, this jelly press um, printing plate. I had one of these I bought a while back and I kind of didn't understand, I mean, I only played with it once or twice, so I'm not saying I totally took it and played with it forever, but I, um, I'm going to use it today and I'll show you what we did. But I um, also have these paints that came in the kit, a brayer, and then these are the two stamps that I made while I was there. I made raindrops and I made a little heart, and I'm going to show you uh, how... I was so impressed. I was like, why didn't I know this before? And then um, we have a little tag, which I love making tags. Um, I may do some couple of work, little videos on some tags I made. And then um, a stamp. It seems like, oh yeah, we had a marker and a Jelly Roll um, white gel pen. And then I also, we had, of course, we had swaps, and my friend Dorielli gave a little thing of stickers, and then um, Teresa put together this cute little um, mixed media pack. It had some little bubble wrap in there, which we used to kind of create some different textures on our little, oops, card we made. So it was such a cute and fun workshop. I really enjoyed it, and I actually, and I learned something, which that's awesome. So I'm going to show you real quick what I learned. Um, using nature, which is this great, um, sorry, I just threw that, I hope that wasn't too loud, um, using these little leaves. So I'm just going to basically, um, I used like a, we, I used a different uh, glue when we did it before, but I'm just going to take this hot glue and hot glue it on there. And I'm using my, a different hot glue gun than I normally use because my other one is so ugly and burnt and sticky stuff all over it. I've had it since, I've probably had it over 20 years, so I'm not gonna say how old I was. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't, I'm not worried about age, but 
Um, it was it's very old, but it's perfect. I love it, and I I don't ever want to get rid of it. But I wanted to use my cute one because it's on film. So I'm gonna while I let those kind of cool off. To see how quick and easy these are just little foam I cut off of the package. I hear my phone back there, but um, I'm just going to ignore that. Um, and I basically are going to use the gel press to to create some different shading color. You know what, actually, excuse me just one moment. Okay, sorry about that. I was afraid it might be my daughter. She's doing drama club, which is very exciting. She's starting all these new little clubs at school and I wasn't sure if that was her or not. So, so basically, how they did it was, they had a plate, which I don't have a plate. Um, I'm probably going to end up making a huge mess. So I'm going to put down some paper towels. But basically, they started with a plate and they uh, put the, the, the paint on the plate and then they used the brayer. But I'm going to go ahead and just directly put the glue on here. I mean the paint. So I'm just going to dab a little. Whoops. That was more than a little. I'm going to take some of that back. You probably wonder why my paints are so messy, right? <laughs> but I'm just going to dab a little um, paint on here. Like that. I'm going to use this darker orange, my favorite orangey color. That's a little too much, I think. Take some of that back. And I, I do want to experiment with this a lot more. Because um, I know you can do all sorts of fun little stencils on here. And I'm just going to roll. It kind of just, I, oh my goodness gracious, it nearly rolled off the table all onto my knee. <laughs> That would have been a mess. You ought to see my floor though in here. It's like got somehow I had green paint stuck on my um I'm gonna try experiment. Um stuck on my shoe. I don't know how. It's when I was organizing and cleaning. And <clears throat> I ended up getting it completely all on the floor in here. But this is old carpet, so what I'm going to do eventually, I hope in the new year, um, is just oh, and move everything. Oh my gosh, that's going to be such a challenge to do that. But I'm going to move everything, and then I'm going to um, put new carpet down. I'm, I'm just playing on camera here. I have no idea what I'm doing, but they were saying that you could put a stencil down. I guess I kind of see that in there a little bit, the stencil design. And then she said, you get your stamp and you push your stamp on here. No, you know what she did? She put her paper on the, ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> she put her paper on there, but I'm going to put the stamp. We're going to try the stamp. This is some, I'm just... I was so impressed with the stamp anyway, so let's just try that. I may have to experiment with this jelly thing. That's kind of pretty. I wonder if I can gather some more of that. I don't really see the stencil in there. But that's right, she got the paper and put the paper down on there. Now I kind of am thinking that's pretty. Let's, let's stamp it and see what happens. Move this out of the way. Like I said, it's going to get really messy. Um, I'm just going to pop it down. Let's see what happens. Can you guys see? I'm sorry. I'm kind of working myself off of the camera here. Let's see. Well, hmm. You can't really tell it's a leaf. Okay. Let's do this. And then I'll try something else with that jelly thing in just a second. Okay, so let's cover that. Good night, nurse. I just I'm making such a mess today. Let's try.
try this. Let's see what happens. My, can you guys see? I'm sorry. I, oh, that's so much better. Let me show, let me do something else that she may ha have a, had a better, what she was probably talking about with the jelly pad. I'm not going to give up on it. Last time I just did it one time and I'm like, I don't know if I like this. It's just complicated. Or I didn't give it a chance, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to add some paint directly onto my paper towel since I don't have a, um, I don't have a pa uh, plate handy. We're going to give this a different, give it a different try here and see what this did. Ooh, man, that, that's that orange paint from the other day, too. That just, I just need to throw it away. Okay, so we're just going to, woo-wee. Now that is a lot of paint. Okay. Now, let's come in here. Let's put this down. And use more paint. This stencil, you know what? I've used so much this stencil, I can tell it's like clogged some of the coloring in here. But we're gonna go with it. Let's get a different piece of paper. I'm gonna get a piece of white cardstock and see what happens. Now we're talking. I see. Do you see the magic now? That's so pretty. Okay. We're going to work with this. We're going to cut this out. We're going to play with this. Okay. I think if my stencil wasn't so clogged, it might be better. So that's okay. We're going to just go with it. Let's add... Let's do this one. And, um, I was thinking we could go with like a different color, like a real bright turquoisey. This is called Peacock Teal. And, let's just. Get it all mixed up on the brayer here, not not caring about the other colors. Run it across here like that. I love that. I love teal. It's like so pretty. And then let's just put the piece of paper on like that. Hold it down. Bring it up. We have mixed media paint. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I'm going to come in here and just add a little bit more. Kind of smudged it up a little bit. Okay. While this is drying, you know, we have to have our dry time. I'm going to put this jelly thing away and I'm going to clean up my area a little bit. Because I'm going to do some stamping with those little stamps. Actually, let me get another paper towel. Put these guys in there and I'll wash them off. And then I can throw that away. I'm going to keep my brayer out. The thing with that jelly pad, too, is they were saying to make sure that you keep it, um, you keep it, uh, what do you call it, um, covered with the clear plastic film that it came in. Um, I was really worried about the other one I had bought when I came home. I checked it out, and um, it actually was okay. It, it was a little sticky, but this weekend I told my daughter, I said, well, we'll play. We'll experiment. She loves to try new artsy things with paint, so um, I told her we would play around with that. I'm just coming in here and adding paint with my paintbrush onto the stamp. I'm going to move that brayer. I, I know I'm just going to get really messy here, which is part of it. Okay, and then let's try stamping on this side. Ooh. Again, we're dealing with the 
the puffiness of the um, of the page, and so we may have some issues with that um, being an issue. Or I wonder if that that one just turned out so well. I wonder if it had to do with the brayer. I think I have another one that's not. Yucky. This is the one I use for when I'm making wood blocks, but we'll try it out here and see. It's used for glue mostly. That does not look. It's that turquoise coming through here. Are we ready? I'm gonna hope for the best. I wonder if that Ooh like it. Now that one turned out really pretty. Okay, let's come in here and do another one and then I'm actually gonna be covering up some of this, so um So I'm okay with um, some of that, some of that um, being mixed, like not exposed. I'm just trying to get rid of that clumpiness because I don't want it to, I want it to dry. Let's see what other color we have. Shall we try a green? This festive green, that maybe it's a little bit too bright for that page. How about this leaf green? Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Leaf green here. Okay. And I'm just going to come in here and add the green onto these foam. And I think what's fun about these foam, and I'll tell you, I made raindrops. And actually, I'll use it here in just a minute. Um, because I have a raindrop stamp and I didn't take care of it. I'm not, I was telling the ladies at the t table, I said, I'm such a horrible stamp mom. Because um, I don't take care of them because I'm, I do so many things. And then sometimes, a lot of times it's late at night. And so I forget about them. And then I come back to the table and they have all that stuff on there. And one of the things I'm so finicky about is that the stays on because... That stays on when you emboss because it's such a glue type um, stamp, and I just, you know, I've ruined so many. I'm just going to come do one off the page here. Well, hmm. Okay. Boy, it worked when we were there so much better. Isn't that typical? But let me show y'all my little raindrop one and we'll test it out. I wonder what the difference is. I wonder her cardboard was a little bit thicker, if that made a difference of the designs coming out better. Um, so let's do, I'm going to do kind of like a, a new little turquoise um, for the rain chops on here. I love the, uh, you know, I love rain. Of course, I loved it a lot more than when we've had so many floods lately, but I still love the rain. It's so refreshing. So, let's try these little raindrops. I wonder if it has something to do with the thickness of the cardboard. I don't think it would, but... Ready? Here we go. I kind of like it though. And I'll tell you what I'm doing is I've had this journaling page and it's kind of perfect for the end of the seat, end of the month and new changes happening that's going on. 
or hope new changes that are going to be going on. Um, I kind of wanted to do a page with with change, but um, what I did was I took this girl and I uh, did a fussy cut of her from my um, what do you call it? Oh, um, I'll show you real quick. I have these patterns that I I use. Basically, anytime I, um, there she is again. Anytime I go to, oh, this is my daughter's picture. Anytime I go to like, uh, kind of like thrift stores or, or uh, like warrant, like antique days or anything like that, I look for um, vintage patterns and then I cut these ladies out. I buy them and then I buy the patterns and then I make copies because I hate to cut the actual patterns. And then I can use them over and over again. So, I really, um, this, that's the case with her. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to add, because it's, she's kind of too dark for this background to me, so I'm going to add this piece of um, doily to the back, I mean to the back, as her background on this journaling page. And since... You have the holes from the doily, the paint, the glue sometimes have a tendency to go through. And so I'm just doing it onto a paper towel first. And then I'm just going to add this to the page. I can feel the glue. And then I'm just going to cut off the edges here. Oops, I just threw it on the ground. Like that. And then what you could what you could do, and I moved my washi, but let's see what I got over here. Ooh, have y'all this is this is um this is a new washi and the new upcoming kit this month. I love it. It's that floral. Um it's kinda got still has a um fall look to it with the orange and the blues. And I'm just going to add that to the outside of that. And I think what I'm going to do to secure it a little better is, because I don't really want to add it to that new page I just did, I want to bring it down like this. And I like it because it's see-through so you can still kind of see through it a little bit where even on the next page, it will be okay. Just like that. Okay. So, I'm going to adjust the camera just a tad. Just so y'all can see a little better. I noticed... There we go. Okay. I noticed I was working more over here and I was over here. The camera was pointed. Um, also, um... I've picked my new word for the year already. I know it's only the end of October, but I kind of like feed off of like what's going on. And I had lots of them like focus and one came in my mind not too long ago. It was called learn. And all of a sudden all these things like, cause I try to pick a word that can be in all aspects of my life, not just like one particular um, thing and learn there's so much that I've been like oh I need to learn how to do that or oh I wonder how to do that and so that that's my new word this year and the cool thing um the cool thing is um what was the cool thing about it sorry I just my mind went away but I can use it in so many aspects of my life. So anyway, one of the things that my learn is, is to do better on my filming. Because I know you guys, I know I've talked about how I hate having long videos and you guys are so supportive and so nice about saying, I, we don't mind, we love them. And that really means a lot to me that you said that. Um, but I do want to make them better for you where um, I always kind of feel like I'm, um, what did I tell my daughter my husband and my son was I feel like Julia Child 
when I'm <laughs> because you know I think you know she dropped the chicken on the floor and she just pick it up you know and um Sometimes I'm like looking forever for pain, or I drop things on the floor, or I make a mess, or it doesn't come out quite like I wanted. But it's it's part of who I am, and so I hope you guys understand that. But you know, some sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I could edit that out, and I'm horrible at editing, and it takes so much time, and I really don't have a lot of time. Um, but I love creating these videos for you guys, so I hope you. Forgive me if I ever do anything that's totally off the chart. Um, I'm going to use my fancy new creative Create a Sticker Xyron noisy machine and run her through. One thing that I really like about it is since she has so many, like the long thin legs, she um, it works really good on these things because getting glue to fit perfectly on there is kind of sometimes difficult. And let me, again, I'm going to see, does she look good like that? Just add her on there. She looks fabulous. And so, I'm, I had this thought because, um, I don't know um, if you saw the video where I went to Dizio, but they have these cute little um, bubbles. And... Um, I, I want to use one. She's going to tell me something. <laughs> She's going to tell me all my secrets. No, uh, all, everything I need to know and ever wondered about. I'm going to use my lip pen. Let me make sure this one's working good. Um, test paper, test paper. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put um, something like, Why Yes, Darling. Um, change is good or something like that um, why yes darling life is full of change that's a good one life is full of change sorry I had to Say that out loud as I went along because I have been known to misspell and not keep things what I'm thinking in my mind. And I think I mentioned this, I might mention the video, and if I did, forgive me for repeating it again, but my word for the year was change. And so it's been crazy, it's been a whirlwind, and I guess life changes anyway, but it's just I'm more like in tune with it. And I kind of like adding little fun. Like this doesn't really look like, um, it, it's just like a pop of white. So, but you know, I'm going to add some color to it. I think I'm going to add that color I was using. That was flame orange. I'm like, wow, that looks kind of like way too bright. You know what? I just had a thought. I'm going to do a mixture of the turquoise and the orange. Mix. Kind of just going around her, the bubble, a little bit. Nothing too precise. Um, there we go. So, ta da! There we have it. That looks cute. Now it blends in a little bit, oops, blends in a little bit more with the page. Now, you may be asking what I'm going to be doing with this, and I'm wondering if I can um, do like a tip in. And then kind of like, I might do a quote on the back here. I don't know the quote yet, but I can always add it when I do my journaling to this page. Um, and so I'm going to add this with washi. And I was kind of, I moved my washi because I have, I bought some of those really cool rings from um, the Reset Girl when she was down here in Texas. And um, I was, you know, quote unquote, getting organized. And um, 
of course I didn't finish getting my organization and so I had it right here by my feet and I kept like making them stepping on it making a mess so I moved it and then now it's way over there and I don't want to go way over there and these this may be kind of too thick for being a tip in maybe not and it kind of goes with her because she's um she's you know these kind of have some cat eye glasses on it so that's kind of good Have y'all done tippins before? Allie Edward, I mean Allie Edwards. Allie uh, Brown has a great video on it on how to do tippins. I'll see if I can leave her link below to it. I didn't realize that's what these were called. I was saying, oh, they're just part of junk journaling. So now that I know that it's called a tippin, I'm all about tippins. And she's funny because she says, how many times are I going to say tippins in this video? But it's pretty handy because she does photos and things like that so alrighty then I think I'm wrapping it up here I'm thinking I'm feeling pretty good this just kind of gives it that little funky look with her as a um, you know kind of a vintagey look too with this I'll probably add some either a photo or some journaling pages and I'm wrapping it up I'm right that's wet right there so I have to be real careful but um, I hope you're inspired. I, um, you know, when I did the the stamps, I don't even know what I did with them. Oh yeah, I'm washing them right. Um, you know, they were a little. They they they. I need to play with them a little bit more. But it was working out perfectly at the the workshop. But maybe my I'm doing something a little different. Maybe my my working in the journal directly. Oops, I wanted to add it to the bottom. Maybe working in the journal directly caused, you know, versus just a, because uh, we were working on a piece of sticker paper, and so maybe the, the fluffiness of the journal was causing issues. I don't know, but I was going to add some more little raindrops. I love raindrops, so I'm going to add some down here. See? Maybe I just didn't add enough paint or, whoops, is it the paint? Let's do one more. I'm bound and determined to make these things happen for me. <laughs> but I think they're okay. I mean, it's, it's mixed media. You're getting your layers in there. They're fun. Um, I love the idea of, of creating these stamps. You can, you know, you know how I'm obsessed with that tree stamp. You could like actually make a tree stamp yourself possibly with foam. Oh, fun story while I'm doing this real quick on foam. My son hates foam. Like, he can't touch it. It freaks, it, it like, it, the texture just freaks him out completely. Which I think is kind of funny. Now that's a little better. I put a lot more pressure on it because I knew that it was going to be um, fluffy from the journal. I'm gonna add, I know, I keep adding more, but I have one more spot I just saw that I want to add some more. And I did, I was very generous with the paint, so that's probably a trick too. I'm going to add some right up here to bring it all together. There. Set that aside so I can show y'all a field view. It's going to be kind of wet, but... There. Oops. What do y'all think? Is it cute? Is it fabulous? Get it all up close here. And then the little tip in. And I think the leaves are okay because I'm probably going to end up journaling on top of them and it gives it that great, you know, background, um, fall colors and paint. You know, anytime you're painting, it's, um, it's wonderful. Speaking of my son, he's on my phone, so... Um, he's away at college, so I'm done for now, and I'm going to talk to him, and thanks for watching again, and um, I hope you're inspired. I'd love to see some of your stamps, and I hope that they work out great, and um, I will be doing a flip through soon of this whole entire beauty, and um, thanks for stopping in. I'll see you on my next video.